यूनेस्को बॉडी एंड माइंड वेलनेस क्लब स्पॉन्सर्स सहज योग मेडिटेशन वेलकम टू सहज योगा लेट इज ऑल टूगेदर रेज आर कुंडल एंड पुट आर सेल्स इन टू बंधन Let us open our hands and sit comfortably. We take a couple of deep breaths to settle our attention and open our heart. Just take a deep breath, breaths, hold it, and release it. we we'll do this two three times let us look at the photograph of shimata ji the red dot on her forehead and let's observe if we are thoughtless if there are any thoughts we surrender those thoughts to the divine we don't fight with them we just surrender all our thoughts to the divine let us see what are we feeling on our fingertips do we feel any cool vibrations we balance our channels we can close our eyes left hand open on the lap and right hand on mother earth and let's pray from our heart mother please cleanse our left channel mother please make us the pure spirit mother please remove all the imbalances and negativities from my past into the mother earth as the left channel clears we feel more balanced emotionally
we can sit like this in meditation for as long as the left side clears and we feel the balance. When the channel of desire is clear, now we clear our channel of actions. We put our right hand open on our lap and left hand we point towards the ether so that the ventilation takes place here. We pray for our right channel to our mother. Mother, Please cleanse our right channel. Mother, please remove the excessive heat that makes me angry, reactive and overactive. Please remove it into the ether. Mother, please remove my overthinking. As we pray from our heart, we can see that the burden of actions and the doer feeling is completely removed and we are feeling very light like a flower Mother, you are doing everything. I do nothing. You do everything. As we begin to realize that the divine is doing everything, we are completely freed and connected with the truth. We can feel cool vibrations on our hands because this is the truth that we are talking about. Now both hands on our lap and let us pray for our central channel. Mother, please give us complete balance. Mother, please bring us to the present moment. We can see if we are feeling a balance on our hands.
when the sympathetic system is in balance we will feel cool vibrations on both our hands and we will feel thoughtless awareness state where there are no thoughts and we are in the present moment We can raise our attention from our central channel, right from the base of the spine, where there is Muladhar Chakra, we know the innocence within us. Slowly we raise to the second energy center, the creativity, the pure knowledge and the pure attention inside all of us. We raise our attention to our stomach, where lies all the peace, the satisfaction, the contentment that we are all blessed with. Slowly we rotate our attention in the void clockwise, enjoying the self-mastery that mother has given us. And we raise our attention to our heart where our mother has blessed us with courage, confidence, love and compassion. We let our attention rise higher to the Vishuddhi where we are witnessing everything as a drama and not getting involved by the grace of the divine. At every energy center, we are thankful to our mother for all her powers flowing through us. We raise our attention to the Agya, where our mother has filled us with the power of forgiveness that has helped us to rise higher in our spiritual life. And we thank in our heart at our Agya to our mother. Mother, thank you very much for making us all a forgiving human being. By your grace, I'm able to forgive everyone. We raise our attention to our Sestrar, where there is complete integration, complete union of our spirit, of our Kundalini, with the all-pervading power of the Divine. And we can feel that connection now above our Sestrar. We can feel the connection in form of cool breeze, joy, peace, love that's flowing through our being completely now. We let our attention stay here and we meditate.
In this meditative state, we will listen to the speech of Shamataji. Kundalini. Yes. See, sickness comes to you, as I told you, through our centers getting uh, exhausted. As this is one center, all right, on the left side, left sympathetic, the right sympathetic. And they join together, this is the center. No? So we are using the energy of the center that is limited for our purpose, anything. Supposing I'll give an example of a very good example of one Swadhisthana chakra. It's the center, in the second center, which looks after the aortic plexus in the medical terminal. But it's not complete, I mean, it's one of the parts. Now, the work of the Swadhisthana chakra, according to Sahaja Yoga, which has worked, of course, wonders with this theory, that it gives energy for the replacement of the brain cells. Because we never think about it. We are using the brain all the time, we don't think how it is replaced. Even in the medical science, they don't think about it. So one of the works it has got, it moves here. And also it has to look after your liver, it has to look after your pancreas, it has to look after spleen, it has to look after your kidneys, it has to also look after uh, the lower part of your large intestines. All right? Now, but all the time a person is thinking. These days everybody thinks too much and very futuristic. As a result, it cannot pay attention to all other things. So what happens? The first thing is affected is the liver. Now liver gets all the heat from the whole body and eliminates it, it's poison from the body, you can say, eliminates it into the uh, blood circulation, it goes into the blood. Now when, you see, liver is uh, not attended to or not, doesn't get sufficient energy, it starts working very hard, so it becomes overactive liver and this heat cannot be uh, removed, so the heat starts rising upward and downwards. As a result, your uh, uh, these, uh, what you call the lungs are made of, as you know, they are uh, made like a sponge. So it becomes uh, coagulated and you develop asthma. We cure asthma through liver, a curable. Then it descends down. When it descends down, it affects your kidneys. By that you get high blood pressure. Also, the another thing you get is constipation. Then your pancreas is neglected. When pancreas is neglected, you get diabetes. Only the people who are thinking, sitting, planning for future get diabetes, never a villager. In India, if I go to a village, they'll say, you have to put sugar as much that the spoon must stand at right angles, they take so much sugar. Nobody gets diabetes because they aren't in the morning, nicely go home and sleep off. Here we think and think and think of the future. So the neglect of the pancreas gives you diabetes. Now we have many people who have cured of diabetes also. Then the third one is the worst, is the spleen. That the spleen is like a, uh, we say rhythm, keeps the rhythm, it's a speedometer in us. And supposing you are eating the food and suddenly you have to run, then you get a pain because it has to produce red blood corpuscles. But if you are always in an emergency in modern times as you are, first of all you read the newspaper, you are under shock because newspaper must shock you, you see. <laughs> so then another shock, then another shock. Then in the traffic you get a shock. So this poor spleen doesn't know how to behave in this crazy world and it becomes very crazy and vulnerable. And with the slightest shock, it can get blood cancer. I must tell you that we have cured really blood cancer patients, absolutely cured, completely cured, without any medicine or anything, absolutely cured. We have certificates and everything about them, and surprisingly all of them were architects. <laughs> this is one. Then the, another thing, as I told you, it affects the kidneys and it affects also the lower intestines. So only one center, if you use it too much for one purpose, can give you all these troubles. And ultimately the heat might rise to your heart and you might have a massive heart attack. Especially if young people, if they are drinking too much, uh, if they are playing tennis or of a very 
I mean any, any game which is like football or tennis, drinking too much and thinking too much, they might get a massive heart attack. And die very young, at a very young age, and it's absolutely fatal. If you get this attack at a young age, it's fatal, you cannot save them. The other way around, if you, are, if you have inactive organs also, you can have inactive, also due to that also you get troubles. So when you treat somebody on its roots, it's very easy to solve the problem. See, supposing you have to treat a tree and you start uh, treating all the leaves, it's very difficult. But if you can go to the roots, it's so easy, simple. Let us continue to stay in meditation, absorbing all the pure knowledge of our spirit. All our attention on top of our head.
Let us all thank our mother for giving us this opportunity to meditate collectively. And we also seek forgiveness if we have committed any mistake during meditation, knowingly or unknowingly. Thank you, mother, for everything. Let us raise our kundalini and take bandhan. We are grateful to Shri Mataji, the founder of Sage Rog Meditation, for giving us all this pure knowledge, this technique of meditation for the emancipation of humanity through which we can realize our full potential. We thank uh, UNESCO BMW for uh, sponsoring this session. Thank you everyone for joining. Have a great day ahead.